Welcome to another van tour. We just finished this 2016 170 Sprinter van into a beautiful home on wheels. Ethan actually came to us with this van. He had done a build out on it himself and wanted more of a homey build with all the amazing things that we like to incorporate into our builds, like a bathroom, a sink, all that good stuff. We'll show some befores of his van and here's the after. So let's jump into the tour. first this is very similar to the last van conversion that we did for Ryan you might have seen that van tour this is what we like to call our outdoorsman layout so we've got the kitchen up here in the front Ethan had this window installed here in the front already so that's why we put his kitchen here we got lots of storage in here even though this is not the extended still really decent sized kitchen we've got his upper storage he's been living in here for the last couple weeks so he's all moved in gonna check out what he's got in here wine you know the essentials <laughs> so he's got lots of uppers we did a really cool drop in black sink this time with a stainless and black faucet we really like this setup butcher block countertops he's so got plenty of storage underneath his sink and he's got a nice big drawer for silverware and all that kind of stuff and then below that he has a dometic cooler style fridge so that does slide all the way out and he has a little lock on the side to make sure that that doesn't fly open while he's driving. We did also install an S-Bar D2 heater. So that is a diesel heater. It runs off of the diesel on the van. So pretty cool. Really, really awesome for van builds if you're planning on going to any cold weather climates. Next up, we've got his kind of dresser closet area. So down below here, we've got a little bit of hanging storage as well as three drawers for clothing. Next up we have his bathroom. So this is actually technically called a wet bath because the toilet and shower are together and we've got a nice self-cleaning retractable shower door made by Nautilus. And we'll link all the stuff down below if you're curious what products we use. So one of the things that we love about this is that you can actually take a hot shower in your van. One of the things that Ethan loves doing is mountain biking. So now he can go mountain biking, come back, have a nice hot shower, get all clean in his van, in the privacy of his home on wheels. Not only that, we have a urine diverting toilet with a compostable option if you want to go that route. Ethan doesn't do a ton in his van that requires a whole lot of power, but he does want to have enough power that he can live and work off the grid for a couple weeks if he doesn't want to have to go in and charge up his batteries. So he does have 300 watts of solar up on his roof. They're mounted to his luminous roof rack with their clamp on solar mounts, which are freaking sweet and super easy to install. We love Illumines. That goes along with his Illumines front bumper, rear bumper with two boxes, with the bike swing arm and two bike racks on the back of his van. Did we mention that Ethan really likes mountain biking? Yeah, a little bit. So his electrical system is designed for him to be able to do what he needs to do, charge his cameras, charge his laptops and do all of that from the road. His 12 volt system powers his lights, it powers his fridge and anything else that's running in this van. So up in this upper cabinet, we've installed our classic electrical panel. This is something we do in all of our builds for easy access to your electrical system. So here is his remote for his 3000 watt Victron inverter charger. So he can turn this off and turn it on right from this compartment instead of having to dig down inside the um, electrical compartment underneath his bench seat. He also has his Victron battery monitor. This little remote works for his LED rope lights underneath the toe kick in his dresser. He has a remote for his S-Bar heater, and this is the antenna for his WeBoost system that boosts his cell service wherever he is. And we did something a little bit different on his. We used a different um, water sensor uh, for his tank, a tank monitor. So this is something that we're trying out on his build, and I don't know, I kind of like it, a little easier to read. Um, behind all of this, we have his solar controller, his 12 volt panel, all the stuff that we usually install in the electrical panel. He does have a little bit of storage up here in this upper cabinet. It's a little mini upper cabinet, but the store, all the storage space you need, you want in your van. On this countertop, which we call his dresser, we also installed this 12 volt three gang switch. 
So he's got two different USB outlets right here. So actually four USB outlets that are all connected to his 12 volt system. What we love about this is when you wanna charge your phone at night, you don't have to turn your inverter on. Because this is a 12 volt system, you can plug in your USB, plug in your phone, plug in your camera, anything that has a USB cord on it, and you can plug that without having to turn your inverter on, which is huge because your inverter does draw some power when it's running. In this panel, we also have three switches. These are connected to the three ball valves of his for his gray water system. So he has a five gallon gray water tank for his shower, for his toilet, and for his kitchen sink. And like we always say, dump responsibly. This is Ethan's convertible table bench bed area. So we went with this design. I'm sure you've seen it before on our channel if you've been around for a while. And one of the things, one of the reasons why Ethan wanted this setup is because he is working while he's on the road. So he didn't want to always just have a full-time bed, right? He wanted a place where he could sit and work or sit and eat. And this whole thing is elevated on a platform to allow for the mountain bike storage underneath. We also use the Lagoon base because this thing is amazing. You can swivel it from side to side, all around. It can move in so many different ways, which is really nice when you're in a van and there's not a pedestal that's mounted into the floor. And then at nighttime, you take this table off. It drops onto a little lip here. Another little piece fills in the bed and then all the cushions come together to make an almost king size bed. We've talked about Ethan's love of mountain biking. He has about a $7,000 Yeti bike. So understandably, he doesn't want to have that on the back of his van everywhere that he goes saying, hey, who wants a bike? So we built this mini platform for him so that he could store his bike underneath. You can see, fits just right. Um, compared to Ryan's, Ethan's a little bit taller, so we actually dropped his platform down just a little bit to give him more head clearance when he does sit at his table. And in the back, there's a little bit of extra storage for his biking gear, camping gear, hammocks, all that good stuff. Is that a snorkel? He's got a snorkel. And his ketone drinks. These guys, they love their ketones. And in the back also, this is where he can access and fill his water compartment. It's a little bit difficult with the bike in here right now, but if you were to pull this tire out, he can easily pull out his hose. Underneath his bed and his platform over on the driver's side, he has his 23 gallon fresh water tank and a two and a half gallon hot water heater that's connected to his 3000 watt inverter. So he can flip a switch and turn on that hot water heater whenever he wants to take a hot shower or have hot water for doing dishes. Over on the passenger side, it's not underneath the platform, it's actually in the bench. This is his electrical compartment. So he has three 100 amp hour Life Pro batteries from Battleborn. So they're lithium batteries that are sealed. They don't off put any noxious gases or anything like that. So they're safe to be inside the vehicle as well as his 3000 watt Victron inverter charger. So he can actually pull this little cable down and plug into shore power and charge his batteries off of essentially any outlet. Underneath the bench on this side, he actually has a ton of storage. So I know he's got some product in there. He's got like some extra towels and blankets and bedding. So there is no shortage of storage in this van. And then he did add the two Illumines rear boxes on the back bumper. So he has even more storage because this guy might be sporting around a Traeger grill. Yeah, that's right, a Traeger, which he can plug in right here to his Traeger outlet that we installed in the garage. We are in Ethan's van. I think this is like the first time I've actually sat in here, like just to sit <laughs> and have a conversation. <laughs> so thank you for letting us into your van. What do you think? This was a long oh, process. It was a process and it was definitely a process that was worth it. I can say there's probably not a single thing that I would change on at this point. Um, I don't, everything's great. <laughs> Color scheme, uh, the table bed combo, still getting the bike in, having the bike rack on the outside, which is actually really convenient because it's like I can put the bike on the outside and then store it on the inside later. So it's not like something I have to be do like right then or if it's muddy, I can kind of get to a spot where I can clean it off. Right, a little um, less time at the trailhead. Yeah, plenty of cool. space for the kitchen. Love the sink, super deep. Um, everything's awesome. Running water is awesome now. Yeah, <laughs> actually having that. Because <laughs> yeah, you had a very minimal build out when we met. Yep. You had it wrapped. <laughs> You had a platform bed, you had a countertop, no running water. Um, so this is it quite was about, upgrade. yeah, it was like the bare essentials. Like it was nice bare essentials. It mm -hmm. was like the, like a good fridge, um, which I know it's not the exact one that you love, but, uh, story for a different day. <laughs> <laughs> um, the heater, things like that. They're kind of like some of the bigger purchases yeah. that you're going to have to make, um, really regardless. And then that was like the minimal of the build was just like cardboard boxes kind of pieced together. So now it's really nice to have like 
actual cabinets and it's like oh the books can be organized and it's not like digging through boxes and stuff like that yeah and this guy is on the road full-time living in this mountain biking doing amazing things running his business you can follow him on instagram nomadpreneur link is down below you can also follow a simple van I'm not sure how much I agree with the name, but maybe <laughs> it was very in the simple. To, it was very simple to pick simple up. Simple to him. <laughs> we always joke that it's not so simple, but whatever. It's the most complex van with a simple man inside of it. We dig it. So, uh, what's like your off top of your head? Your two favorite things about this build? Um, two favorite things I would say honestly the sink. I really love the sink, and then I love the fact that I can have my bike inside. Like mm -hmm. that fits having the height. That's something that I don't think that we see, especially like in a video or something like that. But me being able to do this, which yeah. I, in Ryan's van, was not able to do. Mm -hmm. So very similar layout, yep. me sitting on the bench doing that, and I was like this kind of thing. So being able to sit nice and tall, that's one of those huge things that I don't think that I notice enough just because it's like I'm not visually seeing it or like interacting with it. But it's probably the biggest lifestyle plus. Yeah, like and the even comfort. Yeah, because even more so than what I had was like, it's even more room than that. And I just have like the bare minimum in there. So the way you kind of redid the ceiling struts or whatever they are, and kind of furring strips. <laughs> yeah. Furring yeah, strips. we made a few modifications. If you're interested in the van layout guide, we do have the link down below for that. And we have all the dimensions yeah. for this outdoorsman model, which is the 170 versus the 170 extended like Ryan's was. And just, yeah, really excited to follow your adventures. You've been an awesome client to work with. Honestly, yeah. this is the sort of client we love. If you're looking for like your dream home and you want to make it feel homey, you want to put, you know, your heart and your soul into something that you can travel in and be really comfortable in. That's what we love to do. Yeah. So it's super been a simple process, easy. Um, just choose a few things, a couple colors and good to go. Yeah. I mean, it's not that easy of a process. We put it through the ringer a few easy times. For me. So real quick, your custom paint job, which we had to yep. do because as we mentioned before, he had it wrapped. There was some damage to the exterior paint after we pulled the wrap off, but what do you think of the color? Oh, the paint is phenomenal. So I guess one of the favorite things, I love the paint. Like every time you walk out of the grocery or you walk back to it, I love the wrap just because the wrap was like outdoorsy and cool. Mm -hmm. It looked a lot too much like a billboard and like I own the <laughs> company and all these different things, which has its perks, uh, but this right here, like whenever I walk out and I see it, it just puts, you know, puts a little different pep in your step when you get out of it, so I dig it. Awesome, so if you see Ethan on the road, make sure that you say hello and say, hey, I've seen that big greenish blue <laughs> band, whatever it is before. Turquoise, turquoise. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't decided what the color is, it changes depending on the lighting. Yeah. All right, man, thanks so much. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. I'm sure there's stuff that we forgot to mention as always, but that's why you gotta stick around for the next uh, van tour.